Dolly 3 is great inside of ChatGPT, but you still kind of have to do it one image or one image idea at a time, unless you follow this tutorial here. And then you can create bulk branded images inside of ChatGPT with Dolly pretty easily. All right, let's talk about it. But first, let's talk about what this is. This is AI in 5. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage AI. So every day we do a short little tutorial called AI in 5. So let's jump right in and I'll explain things as we're going on. So uh, to use Dolly 3 inside of ChatGPT, you need a paid ChatGPT Plus plan. Um, and then you just uh, open a new chat and you go into Dolly 3. And right now I just have a simple prompt that says create an advertising image of a mug called Stable Sip. Uh, so I'll explain that to you a little bit more what Stable Sip is. But obviously, right now, uh, ChatGPT slash Dolly has no clue what Stable Sip is what it does, um, but it is still going to create an image on what it thinks. So if you've used Midjourney or any other AI um, art generators before, uh, I think you're gonna, gonna get a lot out of this. Um, so pretty simple stuff. We just got two random mugs. It did actually uh, pretty okay with the, uh, with the words. It only got the one letter wrong on the two different images. Uh, so more on that here in a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a monster amount of information in. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you what we're doing here. So let's open this tab here and talk about it. So, uh, last week we created a brand live using only AI, uh, and it was called, uh, steady sip. Um, so what steady sip is, we just took comments from our live audience on our show and created this brand from scratch, all with AI. This website is built with AI. This little logo, AI. The content, obviously AI. And even the image, all these images were AI generated. Um, so we're now going to jump back in to this chat. So we essentially uh, gave Dolly or ChatGPT, whatever you want to say, all of this information, okay, about uh, the brand stable SIP. So this is all from our previous uh, episode where we use ChatGPT to ideate, strategize, and help us create some marketing position, uh, competitive analysis, all these different things. So I essentially asked, I asked in here, I said, um, you know, hey, please give me 10 different ideas of photos, art, posters, infographics, et cetera, that I could generate inside of Dolly 3. So essentially I gave it a bunch of information and I said, make me a bunch of prompts. All right. So it gave me these 10 prompts. Pretty good job. So now here's what I'm saying, and I'm going to also go ahead. I'm going to jump over here and I'm going to click start. Okay. Cause I want to see how long this takes. All right. Back in, here's what I'm saying. So now I'm saying now, please create all of these photos, take a deep breath and go step by step. If you need to complete them in multiple steps, that's okay. And I'm saying you do need not, you do need, you do not need to ask for approval after each generation. Um, just refer back to the list and continue generating. Do not ask for human feedback or take any breaks. Please complete all image all, all images autonomously. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, it looks like we're getting uh, an error because Dolly is having a heavy server load. Uh, so it says uh, we're running into some rate limits, and it says please wait one minute before generating more images once the wait is over. Okay, so. Um, while we wait a couple more seconds, let me tell you why we're doing this, right? Because uh, normally, uh, like especially when you're working in uh, Midjourney, you put one prompt in, and Midjourney gives you four different variations of that one single prompt. Uh, Dolly three actually works a little differently, um, so it's changed in the last week. But what it does is, you know, it takes your prompt and it changes it, and then it will make two to four different prompts out of your one prompt. And it creates one image based on this newly modified or newly created prompt. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can just click this and it's, you can see here on the right hand side, this is a different prompt than this. So the first one, it says photo of a sleek ceramic mug, which I didn't say, I just gave it a general prompt and Dolly then creates two to four different prompts based on your original prompt. It tries to improve it. Um, and then it creates one image per prompt. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So 
regardless, you only get one thought or one concept um, created at a time, no matter um, you know if you're doing this in uh, Dolly or if you're doing it in Mid Journey. Same thing in Mid Journey. Like I said, one prompt for different versions of that one image or one idea. Okay, so now let's go down. Let's try this again and see if Dolly is done uh, being being overloaded. And I'm going to go ahead and also I'm going to hit reset on our little timer, and we'll see uh, we'll see how this does. All right, so. What we're going to do is I'm going to actually hit pause on the video, but we have our timer going. So we'll see if we can get through all of these different image generations and how long it takes. Just about done. Uh, just about done three-ish minutes later. So let's take a look. So it actually ran into an error at the very end, but I'll say we still got enough. So you'll see here. This is the only way that I know of by giving very specific instructions to Dolly that you can create a series of images without having to go back and forth. You can just click it, wait, especially, you know, right now, unfortunately, it looks like there's heavy load times. But if you go back up and, you know, if we look at all the different prompts, so dynamic, uh, number one is a dynamic cityscape shot. Number two is an adventure theme. So you see here, here's the, uh, which I think this is a really cool shot. And here's the adventure theme with a comically large stable sit mug, uh, which is kind of cool. I like that there's a, a logo of a mountain on the cup where he's climbing the mountain. Uh, but you'll see, we asked for 10 images. We only got eight, but I think that's okay. I think it's just running into uh, some, some overload issues right now. But uh, the images are all pretty close to the prompt and they're all eight very different images, different styles, different illustrations. Um, so it did run into an issue here at the end where it only got through eight out of 10 of them. However, uh, I hope you can see, uh, whoops, let's, uh, let's actually do this correctly, shall we? And, and maybe share the correct, uh, the correct tab here. Sorry. Uh, so here's our, uh, number one was the, uh, the cityscape. Number two was the adventure theme. There we go. There's the cityscape. There's the adventure theme. And it did, unfortunately, after eight generations, it said that there was an error. I think it's just because there's, uh, like it said, there's heavy load times on the server right now. Um, I think a lot of people are just diving into uh, to Dolly inside Midjourney. So this is, as far as I know, the only way that you can create multiple images of different types, different styles, you know, illust so we have illustrations, posters, we have real life photos, so many things in one single prompt. If you set it up correctly, if you give it the background that it needs, again, ran into an error, but hey, getting eight out of 10, uh, pretty good uh, pretty good images, uh, I think that's a win. So I hope this was helpful, and here's what I think you should be using it for. If you're gonna go inside Dolly, think creatively, and don't think of just prompts. Uh, give ChatGPT a lot of information, and then ask, say, hey, create me, five different infographics based on this, create uh, for me a 10 different photo series, create, you know, a mood board, like whatever it is, but give ChatGPT a lot of information, uh, have it give you many different prompts to cover a variety of, of different, you know, marketing and creative angles that you may want to cover and then sit back and watch Dolly. Hey, eight out of 10 ain't bad. That's a B. Bs get degrees, right? All right. I hope this was helpful. If so, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, as always, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.